Well, it's about time I rode the lightweight Onza T-Rex that I built on the channel last year, actually. So we've chosen an absolute glorious day to come to North Glasgow here with Fraser on his birthday present, on his Christmas present even, the Inspired Hex. And we've got Kieran, who is new to Glasgow. He's moved up from Cornwall, uh, the absolute nutter, and he's on a comp Charles bike, an actually really, really good rider. So today we're just gonna go out, do a little bit of riding, and I'm gonna see how the lightweight Onza rides. And actually, I have not ridden this bike at all other than just a few hops outside. So it's not bedded in, it's not scratched. This is gonna be a learning experience. All right, Kieran, what you got? Not much. <laughs> Kapow! By the way guys, I'm not sure if it'll show up on camera, but this thing is looking absolutely glorious in the sunshine. Really popping. Right, first few gaps. Oh, it floats. Gaps well. Wonder how far it would gap if I took the seat off it. It's got some power. No jazz clap though. <laughs> no. I don't even really hear it with my gloves on. <laughs> if he does the gap up from the corner, he gets a jazz clap. Yeah. <laughs> All or nothing. <laughs> So. Right, we're going to get over this rail. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> this is Kieran's bad foot forward side, so. I need to warm up before I do this. <laughs> oh my word. Bad play, dude, that's horrible. <laughs> God, I just fell off that then. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Fraser's first ever experience on like a modern geo comp trials bike with a 20 inch wheels. They're so extreme. Let's see some back hops here. Why is it doing that? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, with a stem that long and bars tilted forwards, it feels like the bike basically has a pivot in the middle. Which I think you... Oh, that's it. it that's it. <laughs> so the key is to ride these bikes really vertically on the back wheel. If you don't, you're pulling so much on the bars that the bike just wants to fold. There we go. <laughs> All right, Fraser, I challenge you. Pump Track Worlds next year on one of these. These? Yeah. No. <laughs> New spot. You may remember this from a video ages ago, but we've got gaps for days. And Fraser has called out a bunny hop gap over the small wall here, over the grass to the flat there. So <laughs> let's see if he's got it. Yo. <laughs> Gets a jazz clap for that one. <laughs> How many feet was that? One, two, eight and a half. But what people don't realise is your feet are actually 14 inches long. <laughs> Oh, he's actually he's taking the seat off. <laughs> Business time. 
This yeah, is the bike equivalent of taking off my jacket. There you go, sir. Nice. Doesn't look half bad, to be honest. <laughs> oh yeah, that's nothing. I need to drive the whole right through it. If I break, if I break better, how does that work? Right. You'd think it would take away stiffness. You're like six five, so that's like quite a big gap. Six, six seven, yeah. It's too big, too big. Which is not the first time I've said that. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna have to come back to that. I kind of want to do a manual, which means I have to put the seat back on. So. I think the key question is, can people even see that gap with this frame glistening? Yo. <laughs> now that was a stylish exit. Really good. Smooth. Line. Go, keep it going. <laughs> I like that, but oh, yeah, I'm back. I didn't do the wee wheelie bit. Now you have to wheel it up, yeah. Nice. Oh, I've had so many people saying, oh, you should try riding a modern 20 inch comp bike on your channel. You're about to find out why, why I, I haven't done that. You'll still be really oh good. God. Yeah, look, you're so good. Oh. All the way. That's a big gap, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Where you put rubbish and stuff? Oh, that's on. Definitely on. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pretty much. So it started opening as well. <laughs> what? Oh, did it open? That'll do. Thank <laughs> you. 
to. One for two. That was the smoothest tap I've ever done. Oh, I've not done one of those for years. What happened? What happened is my seat just fell off. <laughs> I'm like so confused, but um, it appears I drilled through a bit that shouldn't have been drilled through, and now that bit's meant to be glued into there, and now it's not glued into there, so it just fell off. <laughs> so people thought the frame would fail, but actually it was a seat. No one guessed that in the comments. So uh, uh, I'm going to remove the rest and ride seatless for the rest of the day. Makes it easier to take the, the little seat thing off. It does. And for some reason my back brake works better with no seat on, so... Get a better back brake. I reckon a bit of glue be right as rain. That is so cool. Is. But can I do it back the way? Yeah. This one's scary. I'll put it that thing. First go. Jesus. <laughs> I want to side off it, but I don't think my bike will fit. Oh. First go. Did not expect that. Did it? <laughs> I'm not falling for that. That's a genuine one. Yep. Ah. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I think he's warmed up now. Fraser's found himself a manual. To be fair, I've wanted to do this manual for a while, so if he gets it before me, I'll be raging, but I'll also be kind of stoked. So let's see it, Fraser. <laughs> oh, business time, eh? Yeah, it's good. This is Fraser's introduction of being driven absolutely mad by getting close to doing a line but not quite getting it and then just having to repeat it a thousand times. Nice oh. one, dude. Knew you'd get it in the end. <laughs> Give it a big bitch crank off the end, but I was like, I am not dropping it there. Oh. 
Well, the frame's not snapped yet. People thought it was going to snap around the chainstay yoke, but so far, holding up well. <laughs> that was so cool. Your front wheel was in between one of these gaps. It's almost like close your eyes and <laughs> wait till you're at the top. That was so nice. I didn't know if my bike was going to reach across that then. <laughs> First damage to the wrap. It's actually held up alright. It's dead, isn't it? And scary, a good combination. <laughs> I was so dialed. I was just like, Shoot. apart from the landing, it's probably the smoothest move I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. That was actually a really, really good ride. The Onza, despite you naysayers saying I was just going to snap it straight away because of all the modifications I did, is actually holding up really, really well and actually still feels really stiff. I really enjoyed riding it. The extra weight saving certainly makes a difference. The gaps and slopes may not have been much bigger, but they just felt a little bit easier. And when I'm riding a comp, which you know I might do this once they're back on, I feel like at the end of the day, I'm gonna be way less fatigued than on the heavy bike. It's really cool to ride once again with Fraser, and it's really cool to ride with Kieran, who's way down in the distance there, he's a bit shy. Kieran's actually really impressed me with the size of the moves he's been doing today. Uh, yeah, look forward to riding him more often. Thanks again, and we'll catch you sometime later, probably next week. Catch you guys later. <laughs>